Here at Northwestern University, students who no longer live with their parents spent their first Mother's Day away from home. Scott Gerson is a freshman from Kensington, Maryland. Usually we go out for like a brunch or something, but since I can't do that obviously because we're not here, uh, it's more of just the, I guess it's more of the gesture that counts, so the calling or like, if I were to send flowers, it would probably be using her money anyway, so that doesn't seem as thoughtful. But um, yeah, I mean, usually I like to spend time with her like on Mother's Day, and this year I guess it's different because I can't really do that. However, some students from the Chicago area are only short car rides away from home. I live in Carroll Street, Illinois, which is a suburb of Chicago that's like an hour away from here. Okay, so I'm going home on Saturday evening and I'm going to surprise my mom. She doesn't know I'm coming home. She thinks her and my dad are coming up here on Sunday for dinner. So my dad's going to pick me up from the train station and then he's going to go in like it's a normal day and he's coming home from work. And then I'm going to go ring the doorbell and surprise my mom. So I'm really excited for that because she's not going to see it coming at all. For international students like Isabella Pinura, whose parents live in Croatia, going home was not an option. This year, um, yeah, I wasn't very creative. I just kind of called her um, to make sure I called her before she was sleeping. Um, yeah, so I just called her and told her, happy Mother's Day, told her about my week. She was really curious. She always does that thing where she asks me how I'm doing, that kind of thing. They were at a dinner party, so I, I took her away from her, her friends for a little bit, but yeah, um, that's about it. I didn't really do that much, like, but I'll, I'll make it up to her. This is Pia Basu from Medill News.